hundredth time on The Maury Show, and I'm determined to find my baby's daddy. I do not care if it takes a DNA test from every man, uncle, dad, grandpa, everyone that lives on Queens. <sighs> Every drive through worker from McDonald's, BK, Wendy's, Five Guys, Subway, maybe Starbucks. All I know is that my son gonna find his daddy. The last 100 times I was on the Maury show, I was only 99% sure. But now I am 10 thousand percent sure that that lowlife piece of crap Billy is my baby's daddy. I may be a thought that slept with over 5,000 guys and been in more trains than the subway station, but at least it's not five-figure digits. When the DNA results come back showing that Billy is the father, he can get ready to kiss my smelly, wrinkly, fat dump truck. I woke up from a complete blackout, sitting in a salon chair and surrounded by darkness except for the blinding lights around the mirror in front of me. It looked like one of those makeup stations where actors get dolled up before going on stage or on camera, but I never remembered signing up to perform in any movies or plays. The last thing I could recall was boarding a flight, but where was I headed? I didn't even remember booking the ticket. Besides, this was more than just jet lag I was feeling. Who did this to me? I decided to get out of there. But just as I was about to stand up, I heard footsteps. I looked over to see a person emerging from the darkness. What the hell is going on? Who are you? That's confidential. <laughs> the important question is who are you? Are you Billy? What? How the hell do you know my name? Then I'm your professional cosmetic assistant for the next five minutes, which is all the time I have to turn you up to at least above average. So sit still and shut up! Then, he rummaged through the supplies in front of the mirror and picked up a huge makeup brush. He was flat out ignoring me and completely focused on coating me in makeup, which started with him beating my face with that brush and choking me with powder. I don't understand. I didn't sign up for any of this. Just tell me what's going on, please. I suggest you get your act together and stop acting like a big baby. There's already one of those, and one of you deadbeats needs to step up. What are you talking about? Am I going on TV or something? Just, just tell me what this is. Is it Ellen, Jerry Springer, Dr. Phil? You're lucky I just put makeup on you, or I'd claw your eyes out for being so blatantly disrespectful. How dare you belittle the man who's given a job to a thousand people in this community? This is a man who carries the country on his shoulders, giving out countless free paternity tests, just so low-life men like you can get what they deserve while innocent men are spared from further catastrophe. And you have the gall to compare him to Dr. Phil? <coughs> I'm done with you! I was left alone dumbfounded. But before long, somebody else slipped into the room. He was much older, and compared to the other guy, he was extremely wrinkled. But this was not Gordon Ramsay in front of me. No, it was none other than Maury Povich. <gasps> my heart sank as I began to realize what I might be in for, and Maury could see the dread on my face. It made him smile as he approached me, getting uncomfortably close, sticking a large envelope in my face and taunting me with it. M -m 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 Maury? Hey there, Billy. How do you feel as your fate hangs in the balance? Um, okay, I guess? The lie detector test determined that was a lie! Okay, okay, please don't hurt me! You want to know who holds all the cards? Who could tip the scales of destiny? Who controls the trajectory of the final years of your life? I, I don't know, LeBron James likes- I do! Me, 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 Maury Povich! Nobody else! I have the control! More control than your daddy's pullout game! More control than you, which got you in this mess! I still own you until I read out what's in this envelope! You know what it is, don't you? It's a paternity test that I had performed on you while you were unconscious! But wait, I don't understand. Why? Who did you I- Remember that thought from Queens everyone's been sleeping with, including you? Yeah, that's right. It's all coming back to you now, isn't it? You could be the father, you idiot! No, 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 please don't say that. I don't have to read out these results, honestly. Like I said, I control the results. People will believe whatever I say. So listen up. If you want to get out of this place and go back to your old life, all you have to do is sing for me. What? Sing for me! Do it now or else all your bachelor days will be over! And you'll have to take care of some stupid bratty kid for the rest of your life! No, 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 no! Stop, stop! I'll do it! I'll do it! Maury pulled out his phone and began recording as I started to sing the only song that came to mind. Maury just <laughs> laughed and laughed like a complete psycho. Like a virgin, touched for the very first time. Didn't know how lost I was until I found you. Yeah, you made me feel shiny and new. And before I knew it, 
I was on stage before the whole world, sitting next to ten other guys who looked eerily similar to me, along with that mistake I made in Queens over a year ago. On the other side was Morn, smiling menacingly as he opened the envelope which would decide my fate. Billy, you are the father! But, but I thought we had a deal! No, 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 no! Is this thing on? Hmm. Blinking light means recording, they said. Hmm. Okay. This video recording is meant to document a monumental moment in my life. Perhaps the most important thing that has ever happened to me. Better than my wedding. Better than the birth of my children. Even better than my husband in the bedroom after he takes his Woody Woodpecker pills. <laughs> Today I have a dinner date with the one and only Chef Gordon Ramsay. I haven't felt like this since I was a teenager. <laughs> God, I'm so nervous. That British stud has the hottest wrinkles that made me sprinkle because of his dingles. Don, I'm getting carried away. I need to start cooking dinner before he gets here. Oh dear, I've got to stop wasting time. Oh, this is the mess I've made so far. There's lamb in the oven and creme brulee setting up in the fridge for dessert. And so far, I've got almost everything ready for the salad appetite. I just need to chop up the lettuce. <sighs> the world-renowned chef Gordon Ramsay always said to save the lettuce for last so it stays fresh. I saw what he did to the guy on Hell's Kitchen and it ain't going to happen to me. I washed it early so it wouldn't have plenty of time to dry. Just like how I would like my salad tossed. <laughs> Oh my, it's him! Gordon? Hello, sweetheart. Um, what am I looking at? Is your phone in your pants? What? No! It's my face, you donkey! Oh, uh, sorry. It was just a joke. <laughs> I'm on my way. How's dinner coming along? Oh, it's coming. Everything is almost done and I'm preparing the salad as we speak. A little snack before we Netflix and chill. Good, good. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm so excited to feed you, my precious, wrinkly old cashew nut. I've been thinking about you all day and what we'll do in the bedroom and kitchen later. You sure you won't get off right, his old woman? I will after you break my back. <laughs> what did you tell your wife you were doing tonight? Right. I just told her I was just going to film more episodes of Hell's Kitchen. That old hag will believe anything. What about you? What did you tell your husband? He's probably gambling at the bingo hall. I just told him I was busy and that... Oh crap, it's him! He's calling me! I'll call you back, I have to answer it! Hey, baby cake! What do you want, old man? <sighs> I'm really enjoying this vacation. I needed it, but I miss you a lot. Oh, I miss it when you're not here. Oh, uh, wait, what? I have too much work to do at the office right now, old man. Can we Skype later? You're killing my data. Hold on. You're not at the office. What are you doing in the kitchen? Sinking wrinkles, it's him. What did you say? What are you talking about? It better not be about that Ramsey guy on TV again. Um, well, well, it's not my problem you don't like watching Hell's Kitchen or MasterChef. Maybe if you started watching less SpongeBob, we could be in this predicament. Why, you dirty old geezer. I ought to break your... <laughs> You won't be needing him anymore. Evidently not, my dear. I've had enough. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I didn't mean to. Please don't talk like that ever again. Did I hurt your heart? Just keep cooking. Yes, dear. Please have a seat. The salad is finally ready. Here you go, sweetie. I want you to eat it like how you would eat my- You made me a salad, not a bologna sandwich, you donut. Just dig into it like how you would dig into my- Are you serious? What's wrong? There's no dressing. How am I supposed to enjoy a salad with no sleeping dressing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. F forget about the salad. We'll skip the appetizer. Don't piss me off again or you're getting no ram time later. I I've got the main course ready, dear. Just wait till you try it. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. Lamb chops. Yes, lamb chops. I cooked it better than I've cooked anything for my husband. Lamb chops, but no lamb sauce. Where's the lamb sauce? Um, calm down, dear. Don't worry, I also have dessert ready. I made creme brulee, your favorite. <gasps> No, 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 no! Where is it? Where is what? It, it's nothing. It, it's okay. Just give me a second. <sighs> Do you take me for a child? If you disrespect my palate one more time, I'll shove my hands so far up you that my fingertips will come out your dentures! Okay, okay. Easy, Mr. Wrinkle 9000. So the cooking didn't work out. I should have known I wouldn't be able to impress the best chef in the world. How about I do something else for your enjoyment? Like dancing? I bet your wife doesn't have these lumps, does she? What are you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk. Uh, my hump. My hump. My hump. My hump. My hump. My hump. <laughs> I've got 99 problems, but a donkey ain't one. It's time to play Family Feud! Give it up for Steve Harvey! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, folks. I appreciate it, y'all. Well, it's time to play Family Feud, everyone. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. I hope I got a good show for you folks tonight, although I have no idea. On my right here, all the way from St. Louis, Missouri, we have the Phillips family. And over here on my left, hauling from Boston, Massachusetts, we have the Cox family. I don't know if I really believe that they're from Massachusetts with a last name like that, but <laughs> that's none of my business. What my business is, is that one of the families could walk away with a whole lot of cash tonight, and somebody might just be leaving with a brand new car! Everything okay, Matt? Yeah. Man, I could really use that car. I don't even like that kind of car, but it's free. I'll take it. But is it really free, though? I'll have to get it from him. Out of everyone here, why is he staring at me? Is it because he knows? Isn't it? He knows that I... Oh, God, I feel like I'm gonna explode. Why did I have to get put up in first position? We all know I get nervous farts. If I could just release a little bit of pressure, I might be okay, but I don't want to accidentally let it all out on national television. Hey! Everyone paying attention? Huh? That's better. All right, everyone. Give me Tanya. Give me Ivan. Come on. All right, here I go. Just gotta hold it in. I just gotta keep my head in the game and win that car. All right, Tanya, Ivan, take your places. Now, I know you know the rules, but I'll explain them again just in case everyone was preoccupied. I'm going to pose a question which we surveyed before the show, and the first person to hit the buzzer gets the chance to answer first. If your answer matches the most common answers on the survey, you'll get points for your family. All right, here we go. <gasps> go. Are you okay, Ivan? <laughs> Yes. Well then, cleanse your cheeks! You're stinking up my damn studio! Oh, oh, oh okay. I'm just, actually, I, I was wondering if we could go on a commercial break. I really gotta- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop the show, everyone! Ivan said so! It's time for a commercial break, everyone. Take five, and, uh- Oh, wait, never mind. This ain't Ivan's show. This is my show! So put your hand on the buzzer! Now! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> we asked 100 adults aged 18 to 25, what's something you say when playing the popular children's game, Beyblades! Ivan! Let it rip! Let's see, let it rip! Wow, 75 points for let it rip! <laughs> Come on, that's not fair! Uh, look at him, he's a nerd! <laughs> Shut up, Tanya! Ivan, pass or play? Um, pa pass. What? I wanna... <laughs> Pass. You wanna pass? I wanna pass gas! <laughs> hey! Where do you think you're going? Leave me alone or I'll tell Mario to get his mustache back! 
Holy crap. Holy crap. I gotta get the hell out of- I gotta- Get out of there! You didn't win that yet! I need it. What the hell are you doing? Get out of the car before I break this window and make you wish you were on Jeopardy instead! Someone get this guy away from me! I can't let anyone TV see me! This is so embarrassing! I need to turn this up! This is my show! Just leave me alone! You don't want to come in here! I don't care! Get out of this car, partner! Make this easy for the Cox family! Get off me! This is for all my missed applications to Family Feud! All right, everyone. It's been a night for the history books. We made it to the bonus round with my man, Ivan. The Cox family won by default and get a chance to win a brand new car. Minus one window. Ivan, you know the rules. Are you ready? Yes, Steve, I'm ready. Name something that's gray. Guess. Finish the sentence. Passing blank. Uh, pass a guess. Name something that rhymes with start. Fart. Name something other than the audience that claps. Butt cheeks. Besides a burp, what sound does your body make? <laughs> All right, Ivan. You got one answer remaining on the board. So far, it's not looking too good for the Cox family. You're gonna need exactly 192 points with your next answer in order to win that car. Ready? Besides a burp, what sound does your body make? You said... Survey said... Yeah! I did it! Yes, I won! I got the car! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we have for this week's episode of Family Feud, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. I'll see you all next week with another... <laughs> oh!